This is my personal list of my 10 favorite best engines over the last 40 years. Now I've based this on longevity and reliability of the engine. So let me know what you guys think of this list. If you've got different opinions or different favorites, let me know. Number one, the 300 horsepower Mac engine made by Mac Motors. Reliable as all hell. Drove one back in the in the 70s and no matter how cold it got, you didn't have to plug that thing in, that thing would always fire. Great, reliable engine. Took abuse, worked in awful conditions, great engines. The next one I found that I really liked, again, very reliable motor, was the 350 Cummins. One of the basic engines back in the day and from which stemmed the 400 big cam series engines also a favorite of mine the, the early big cam cummins engines the, the big cam one and two great motors reliable not that great on fuel economy but fuel economy wasn't that important back then because fuel was a lot cheaper another favorite engine of mine back in the day the 1693 cat one of the early cats one of the earliest cats that I'm aware of to go into highway trucks. Kind of loud, but lots of power. Great engine, very reliable. Next came the 380 Cat. Also made my list of favorite truck engines. Strong, reliable, powerful, not bad fuel mileage, all things considered. After that on my list comes the 3408 Cat. Now, great engine, very strong engine. Terrible on fuel, but again, Fuel economy wasn't the thing of the day, power was, horsepower was. These things were rated about 450 horse. They were putting out about 550 horse or more. Great engines. After the 3408 came the C15 Cat and the C16 Cat, both of which excellent, excellent, reliable engines, great warranties on them, workhorses, not too bad on fuel but a good working engine, very reliable. And when I was hauling produce, you needed reliability. And these things were perfect for that. They never let you down. Now, the only modern engine to make my list is the 60 Series Detroit. Now, the 3406 Cat didn't make my list as much as I like Caterpillar Motors because it had head gasket trouble, a lot of head gasket trouble. So that let them out of the list. And you'll notice that uh, none of the new Cummins engines made my list because they had problems with reliability because of the emission system. And you'll notice too that unfortunately the new Packard engines didn't make my list. And they've had, they've had sending unit trouble more than anything else. And they may turn out to be a good engine once they get all the bugs out, but they didn't make my list either. The new Detroit engines are the only new engines to make my list. The, the 60 series and the DD15 engine seem to be the only ones that are reliable and have conquered this emission systems problem. So while, while not a big Detroit fan, these things have been the best of the new fleet of engines to come out. And speaking of 60 series Detroits, reminds me of a story. So back, back in the early 90s or mid 90s, I bought a used Kenworth. I knew the history of the truck and it was a big, beautiful truck and the guy that had it took meticulous care of it. But it came with a 60 series Detroit engine, the first one I'd ever, ever owned. I wasn't too sure what to think of that, but bought the truck, got a good deal on it. And uh, as I say, I don't usually buy used trucks, but that one I knew the history, so it was good. And my, my friend, the Lettuce King, was in between rides at that time and place. And I, I put the Lettuce King in this big, beautiful truck, and he really liked the truck. It was kind of an odd color. It was purple. It had a great big bunk on it, but something about it that he really liked. So the Lettuce King took off for California, and we put it to work running lettuce back and forth out of Salinas. So... After a couple trips and owning this truck for a few months, the Lettuce King, who was used to Caterpillar power, he was used to the 3408s and stuff like that, and he said, you know, it's a really nice truck, but 
The motor is weak as hell. Didn't like the motor, didn't like the motor. And I never really drove the truck, I didn't care. But he always complained how weak the motor was. So the Walcott Truck Show comes along and the Lettuce King decides he's gonna take this truck and put it in the Walcott Truck Show because it really was pretty sharp and kind of unusual. So he's in there, the truck's on display at Walcott and sure enough, the Detroit guys come along, see the engine and make the mistake of asking the Lettuce King how he likes the motor, hoping for some good good press out of him. Well, the Lettuce King goes off like a rocket, tells him what a piece of crap it is, stomps up and down, hates the motor, weak, 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 no power, no power, no power. The Detroit reps didn't want the bad press and they to quiet him down, they said to him, well, where are you, where are you going right now? And uh, the Lettuce King says, well, I'm headed for California. The guy says, okay, you empty out in California, We've got a shop in Bakersfield. I want you to take that truck up to this shop in Bakersfield. We'll tune that motor for free, no charge, because we want you happy. We want you to say good things about this Detroit diesel. So no charge, take it up there. We'll tune it up and then see what you think about it. So the Lettuce King empties out in LA and on the way up to the Lettuce Fields, he stops in Bakersfield. And he's in Bakersfield for about two days while these guys work on the motor, some sort of a hot Detroit engine shop. He comes out, goes up to Salinas, puts on the lettuce, and heads to, to go up 80, up to Truckee on 80, you know. And by God, the truck's pulling like Jack the Bear. He can't believe it's the same motor. And he just comes sailing home, a whole different truck altogether, and just thrilled with it after that. And there's, the moral of the story is, if you're the lettuce king and you complain loud enough, you get a good engine out of the deal. And he certainly did, because after those guys in Bakersfield worked on that engine, ran like a clock and had gobs of power. So that's my Lettuce King Detroit story. You guys take care, keep the rubber side down. Let me know what your favorite engines are. And I'll see you on the backhaul.